Hello YouTube, this is Rafael Martinez here and in this video we're taking a, a look and a review at my current GPS running watch the Garmin 410 This is a uh, GPS watch developed by Garmin if you guys don't know, Garmin is a uh, fantastic company who designs GPS enabled sports watches also they develop smart watches for the athlete and also uh, GPS units for for the automobile or semis. In this watch, this is the Formula 220, and in this one, this is Garmin's uh, sort of mid-range uh, device for the runner. So, uh, as some people will know, that Garmin has uh, the 4115, which is the budget watch. The uh, 410225, which is almost the exact same thing as this, except that it has a heart monitor on the back, and then, and uh, and this one it doesn't. It just connects it via AMP plus. And uh, and in the uh, 410620, uh, that's Garmin's uh, high end GPS watch. So in this one. It's very e it's a fantastic watch if you're a person who doesn't want so much running data at the 620. It's just a nice watch. It tracks your elevation, your cadence, your obviously your distance, your pace, and if you have a heart rate strap via N plus, you can connect it via N plus to the 220, and it can also measure your heart rate. The main screen is the same. Uh, they just you just have to press either up and down button or the uh, or this button or just twice the uh, running man icon and it just twice and unlocks it for you and this is the home screen for the uh, for the SD, as, as you can see uh, it's already uh, trying to find GPS you can also uh, via connect via Bluetooth to your smartphone. If you have a uh, Android phone running 4.3 or higher, or an iOS device running a uh, iOS uh, 7 or higher, it can uh, it can uh, upload all your data and everything via Bluetooth to your smartphone. So Nexus 6, LG G4, Samsung Galaxy S6, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 4s, iPhone 4, iPhone. Uh, 5, 5s, maybe your iPod, touch, 5th generation or 6th generation, your Nexus 9 too, so tablets can work too, so your iPad Air 2, iPad Air, iPad Mini, Mini 2, Mini, Mini 3, uh, iPad, uh, all, your, all your Android tablets, everything. To charge it, it's it's via by this, these uh, four little uh, so they say your uh, horse is connected to a uh, charger and, and uh, you connected via a charger that they included where you have to charge it. You can charge it via the computer or your world ward. And it charges pretty quick. I always get like an hour or so uh, of full battery in an hour. So just from being in 15% uh, so it's, it's a little bit quick. As you can see uh, and if you hear the sound it's already uh, connected. And this, this is what the most you can get out of screens. You get, you get two screens, two data screens, and each data screen can fit up to three data points, and you can uh, customize it. So uh, right here, I got the distance, the melody timer, at space. As you go down here, we get elevation. So I'm at 4,077 feet, and it's pretty accurate. Cadence, my lap time. And and if I had a heart rate monitor, if I were to go down the data, I would have a heart rate pace. But since I don't, you can also put it in a clock. So you also get a clock, and then you back in. To start, it's just easy. Just press the uh, red uh, running man button. Already starts. So as you can see, it's doing pretty well, doing fine. To lap it. It's just right here, or you can just use a uh, automatic lap time since you can do it under settings. So if you if you want to get the lap time, just press it right here on the southeast corner. 
so that's your lap time. Backlight, you can uh, do it from uh, right here from the top. This is how you get your lap, your 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 light on, and then uh, you can scroll down right here, and then uh, to stop it, just press the Gendy Winning Man logo. You stop it, and then right here you have you have option to resume it, save it, discard it, go to settings. So we just discard it, press it again, this, activity discard it, and this back right here. And to go back to your menu, just go to right here, there's also a function that say back button, back to your menu. Menu is pretty easy, you just have training, where you have your training calendar, all your worker information, everything. History is all your history of your runs that you did during the month, week, all that. Records is where you saw your records for fastest mile, fastest based on if you have kilometers or miles. So you have fastest mile, fastest kilometer, fastest 5k, fastest 10k, half marathon, marathon. So it has your records, longest one. Settings as well, all your settings are for for example, activity settings. So, if you want auto lap, which is automatically laps your lap based on maybe your time or your distance. So, if I want it every mile to lap it, it will do that. And also have auto scores, so it automatically scores for you, so you don't have to press the uh, up and down buttons to scroll through your your data pages. And uh, there's also other features. Uh, the sad part is that there's no virtual one, no virtual partner. As with the 225 too, there's no virtual partner, so I wish that would came in, but from older generation uh, government watches like the 210 and the 620, which is a higher end uh, watch, but at least it has uh, other settings too, like one walk, it has one walk information, so if you want to run and walk, and uh, there's other stuff too that, like that, so if you go to activity settings, you see, you can edit right here your data settings, your data screens, alerts such as such, such as heart rate, one walk, your pace. So it can has a pacemaker. So if you're going way too slow, it'll beep at you. You're going too fast, it'll beep at you for desired pace. Auto lap, auto pause. So if you stop using the accelerometer, it'll it'll stop for you. So that's a pretty neat feature. Auto score, like we said earlier. Timeout, which is really useful. Many GPS watches, what it does is that when you're not, when you're inactive and you're on the home screen and they were inactive for who knows when, it will time out and then it will go into sleep mode. And most GPS watches go into timeout zone and already at go to sleep mode and and basically uh, five minutes or so. And this one in about two minutes and this one or three five. And this one is extended so you can go all to 25 minutes, so it is amazing. Which is nice for those people who are in the long lines at the marathons. If we go down sensors, as we have all your sensors like like your cadence, foot part. This is an accelerometer, so it really tracks your cadence, but if you want to, you can connect it and also your heart rate monitor to it. Bluetooth is really connected via Bluetooth to your devices. Use your profile so it's all your profile needs like your weight and height and all that stuff. And also if you want in miles, kilometers, like that sort of thing. Alarm, so it also has an alarm too. System settings, so it has all your settings like change the color and all that. So right here, language, the clock face if you want in 24 hour mode or 12 hour mode. Backlight. If you want the battery to stay on like this forever until you push it again or just have it temporarily. Sounds if you want sounds or not. Units, so like my also kilometers. The theme colors can change the color, mine is red. The GPS if you want it on and off. The format of it, if you want to restore the defaults. Software update and about it. So we go back, this is the main menu. And GPS is amazing. The first time when you hunt it via GPS, it will take some time for GPS to get, like in about 30 seconds, but it's still pretty fast. And then once you're in that area, 
once you keep using it more and more it will already uh, get it super fast so I've been getting right here for about five three seconds sometimes five seconds so it's just crazy fast for a GPS watch so this is fantastic so far this is a really awesome really nice GPS watch I don't need something like a 620 well I, I'm a cross country and track runner I sometimes like the data but I don't need all the data like a 620 like all the running data this is fine for me the only thing that I wish is that I'll be happier with the 225 because if you like me and want a heart, heart based Huawei heart monitor on your watch so on the back that would be super nice because I don't want to wear hardware steps, especially if I will if I want sortless or if a compressed sort, or people will see me with the hardware strap. So uh, I just want a uh, wrist based step like the 225. But if you don't want, if you don't mind it, it's a pretty nice device. It's super neat. It's one of the best GPS watches to get for a winner. That's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are one of my first ever YouTube videos, so please bear with me on this I don't know if the audio is okay or not so please bear with me and more videos will be on the way soon thank you for watching